is how to play the game! That is an epic fucking intro, dude. And I have to warn everyone. Warning. What you may see right now is going to be absolutely disgusting. Sound good? Sounds good to me. So basically it took me, I'm not even kidding, about two hours just to do like pre-work. Meaning scanning of documents, filling out of forms, yada yada yada, and getting stuff uploaded. And it's like, okay, now I can finally sit down and start to actually... Oh, hold on. Oh, excuse me. Oh, that was bad. Sorry about that. So yeah, I can finally sit down and start to crunch these numbers. I can start to look at these numbers and put them into a, a big spreadsheet and the data, plug in the data for each particular month and transaction and HP. It's so annoying. Like, I'm not kidding you. You have to be so careful. To make sure that you count every piece of income, that you count every expense that you had. And basically it's up to my, my tax guy to figure out what is a write-off, what's not. Because people ask me this shit all the time. Oh, well, how much how much is the write-off? And is this a write-off? And is that a write-off? Listen, I'm not the expert, you know? And the thing is, people act, talk to me like I am. I'm not. Um, at one point, I thought I knew more than I did. And then my old tax guy, I remember from years and years ago, wasn't even doing the taxes right and screwed everything up. So, it's very simple. I just gather a tremendous amount of data. I plug it in to this, you know... Uh, kind of like, I don't even know what it's called. I don't think, it, it could be called profit and loss. I guess it could also just be called income and expenses. I have this, this kind of like database that I pull, put all my data into. And I have a summary page that summarizes all the data from all the different pages. And then you can break it down to like literally month by month. And you can break it down to day by day if you need to. I'm not kidding. That's how detailed I go into my shit. Um, and it's very, very complicated. So, you know, last night, arguably, I spent about three and a half hours working on this, and out of that, the first two hours was essentially, like, shitty busy work of scanning and uploading and bullshit. And I finally had a little bit over an hour to kind of sit down and finally get into the hard numbers of it all, and I'm like, damn, I feel like I barely scratched the surface of what I need to do. So... I play a game called WWE Champions, which, of all things, if you can believe it, is a WWE game that plays like Candy Crush. The good news is, I did finish the bullshit upfront work, and now... When I sit down to do this again tomorrow night, I can just work on the data of pro income and expenses and profit and yada, yada, yada. I can work on that now, even though that is really the hardest thing to do. Um, you know what I mean? Um, I guess we'll see. I guess we shall see. Oh my god, he's drinking gin. Gin is great. <laughs> I drink. Yes, I actually drink. But basically the one thing that I've absolutely admittedly struggled with here on YouTube, this, this, since the day that I came to YouTube last year, leaving Twitch, is paid memberships, which are the equivalent of subscribers over on Twitch, okay? The last couple of months, you may have noticed, the members' goal has gone down, 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 down. The goal hasn't changed. The goal is still I want to hit 400 members. The highest I ever got was 391, and then it stagnated, it froze, and we didn't hit it, okay? So instead of trying to think of conventional things and instead of trying to think of things that have been done before or everyone else has done, you know, basically I'm trying to think of things that are absolutely specific to me. I'm trying to think of things that possibly would bring n something new to the table, all right? Something that I've never, I've never done before. I've been talking about this over the last week that basically I'm trying to think of something that's outside of my comfort zone that essentially would be something that maybe would attract different audiences, all right? And would make it interesting for a lot of different people. I'm not saying this is certainly going to be something that would be interesting to everyone. But I do feel that it would basically get some people interested enough. Where maybe it would motivate some people to want to become a member to see this type of event. Alright. So ladies and gentlemen, here we go. Prepare your butts. Alright. Prepare your butts. <laughs> <clears throat> ladies and gentlemen. The member's goal for the month of April 2022 is 400 members, all right? And if we hit 400 members at any time during the course of April, all right, I will schedule a special event, all right, where I will do... Hold on. Excuse me. I will do a type of video 
you guys have asked me to do for many, many years. And I've completely avoided doing it. I've completely avoided commenting about it. I have stayed away from it as far as humanly possible. Alright? But, it's time to experiment a bit. Alright, so ladies and gentlemen. Six million. Six million. That's a pretty interesting number, isn't it? Six million. Six million people have seen it. It's time for me to comment about it. Ladies and gentlemen, if we hit the members goal this month, Dark Side Phil reacts to down the rabbit hole, Dark Side Phil. <laughs> I'm against the whole philosophy of React videos. I think React videos are one of the lowest forms of content creation. They take little to zero effort. You can literally do no prep at all, play a clip and just react to it. And apparently, you know, get tons of views and money because people are very, very gullible and think that this is quality content. It is not. It is the ultimate fluff piece of the internet. It's junk. Um, I don't like to make junk. I like to make what I feel is viable entertainment and or meaningful content. And I don't feel that that would be meaningful content. And that's why I don't make it. You're right. I might make some extra money doing it. I don't care. So there you go. Literally, you do nothing of any work or effort, you get paid. It's a free fucking paycheck to just sit there and go, ah, oh, 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 pause, say one, two words, unpause, and, you know, literally, literally, there's nothing to it at all, okay? And anyone could do it. Live reaction to something is basically you overreacting to get a response from your viewership, and it works because people are gullible. The, the reactionary content is the worst kind of content. It's like, I have nothing to say or do myself. I can't do anything creative or positive for myself. So instead, I take what other people say and do, and then I comment on it. That's not creative content. That's the easiest way out. The entire video. 30 minutes. We'll go through it piece by piece. I will dissect it. I will tell you what I think about each piece of it. I will basically do everything I need to do to comment on this video. I've avoided it for over five years. Over six million people have seen this video, and this is all they know of me. Now, I will give you some upfront information. I've seen the video, okay? And honestly, I don't think it's that bad. Now, you may say, now wait a minute. Hold on a second here. Phil. People do these these react videos all the time, right? And you 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 crap on them or whatever. And you even say when people do react videos to other people's videos, that, that's you're stealing content, right? You said directly when people are reacting to your content that they're stealing your content without your permission. So what makes you any better than them that you think that you can react to this video? Well, because I got permission. I directly asked the guy and, and had a conversation with him. And he said that, yes, he gives me absolute permission to do this. And he's gung-ho for it. He actually would like to see the stream himself. All right? And just in case anyone wants to be a dickhead about it and say Phil's making this shit up, he actually even said that probably people would say that and that he's outright giving permission and he will confirm this if people say that it's fake, he'll say no, it's real, okay? So, yeah, uh, again, I have never absolutely done anything like this before ever in my history as a content creator. Whenever it comes to this kind of stuff, I tell you guys, listen, I make my own shit, I focus on the positive, right? But... In this particular case, all right, Mr. Frederick Knudsen, which is the name of the, the guy who made this, and that's his channel on YouTube, by the way. What do you think? It's bland as hell. Really? Uh, made a video that was ultra popular. And like I said, I hate to say it, the vast majority of people who know me, you know me for negative reasons, and a lot of them have seen this video. Like I said, out of all the content made about me, this video has the most views. There's no other video on YouTube that has more than 6 million views about me. So it makes sense to react to the biggest one, right? There's other shit out there that's really stupid. And just, here's the thing. Why waste time on the junk out there that you know is fake when this actually is pretty factually correct? But I can add more to it. I feel like if I do this, react, Phil, Dark Side Phil reacts to Down the Rabbit Hole, Dark Side Phil... 
that I can actually give you perspective on the things said in this. Because admittedly, even though a lot of this stuff is right, I'll tell you, he got a lot of stuff right. There's a lot of things in there that are either mischaracterized or speculation that aren't right. And I could definitely take this opportunity to at least elaborate on some of that and clear the air on some of that, regardless of the fact that a lot of people probably won't believe me anyway. At least I can tell you my side of the story, okay? We got some work to do, because we're currently at 352 members. We may have we may have gotten another one. I think there was one more that was added here during the pre-stream. Um, but yeah, like that's, we got work to do to hit that goal, all right? So it's announced, it's out there. Please consider becoming a member if that's something you're interested in. And I get the feeling that you're going to have people who are longtime viewers who are interested in something like that. And people who maybe aren't longtime viewers. And quite frankly, they don't like me that much. But they want to see this happen as well. So, let's see what happens. Alright? Someone who's probably getting a game several, several weeks early and playing it exclusively before everybody else. You know... Probably doesn't need as much support as the other people who are, are normal people like you and me who are trying to make a living being honest. I'm just saying. I, Levia Titan, has tipped $3, says, I'm relatively new to your channel. Can you explain detractor lore? No, there's no point. <laughs> and the, th the thing is, that video that I'm talking about, the, the down the rabbit hole video, I don't think that's a detractor video at all. It's hilarious because people have referenced it to me like that over the years. And then when I watched it, I was like, that's not, that's not detractor stuff. Uh, Joe, Joe... I think it was supposed to be George Blood, but instead it's Yogi Blood. He forgot the R. And he basically says, I should go to Kiwi Farms and read a thread about me. Now, that is something I will absolutely positively tell you all I will never do. All right, number one, just to go over there and subject yourself to a website like that. You want to talk about going down a rabbit hole. That's not going down a rabbit hole. That's like going down a shit-encrusted but hidden razor blade stuck on the side hole. By the time you get down it, you are completely mauled and destroyed. Like, any semblance of rational thought is gone and lost over there. Um, the few times that I went over there, because people instructed me there was personal stuff over there that could be harmful to myself or my family, and I had to go over there, I just, like, was like, I can't believe it. I can't believe the shit that's over there that is passed off as fact, that is passed off as acceptable stuff to be put up on the internet to begin with. The guy who runs that site, I can't imagine how the guy is fucking sane because he's not. There's no way that someone could, could sleep at night and run a site like that unless there's something wrong with them. Um, it's meant to be a weaponizable website to hurt people. Let's put it that way. And I would never go there. Absolutely not. That is the that is the last place I would ever do because that is 100% harm. There is nothing on that site meant to help anyone. It's 100% let's weaponize the internet to hurt people. And that's why I would not touch it with a 100 million foot pole. Oh my god, he's drinking sperm. There's still this back here. And it's still in the back of my neck, the back of my head, the back of my mind, and it's always telling me. It's WWE Champions time. I love it. I love it. Is is a mobile game addict. Phil has indoctrinated children who send him money blatantly milking for money it's a money pit it's gone just gone like that in an instant fucking gone i just care about money that i just can't help it by ebay contributions are mandatory but i need your help i am appealing directly to you no decency no respect no common sense no fucking maturity is the guy who just doesn't get reality <laughs>